actually if we want to display the words in row wise that is horizontally let us run a loop so let me first run a loop outside these conditions we need to do it within this loop itself right so after this let me have the characters so where characters what i can do to get the characters i just have to specify my arr of i dot split using an empty space so what will happen now this characters will be an array with each of the letters in the particular word right so let me run a loop dollar dot each with characters as the array okay and function key comma item and what will be the item the item will be actually the characters right let me just show you that console dot log item let me save this let me refresh see first it is e g g g twice okay then m i l k then b u t twice which means butter then jam then oats so these letters are getting displayed here so what we need to do actually if the value of orientation is equal to row then we need to display the characters one after the other if the orientation is column then we need to display the characters with a gap of 12 that is if the first letter is displayed here then after the 12th div element we need to display the next one right because they have to be displayed like this so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 1 plus 12 13 so in the 13th position we need to display the next letter so what i am going to do is that here let me have a variable named next letter where next letter equal to 0 okay and let me move this outside the loop here itself okay and what i am going to do is that for orientation row we need to have next letter with a gap of 1 right and if orientation is column next letter should be displayed at a gap of 12 right diagonal we will display later okay so we have done for row and column and what i am going to do is that let me have a new variable here where next position equal to 0 and let me select dollar dot individual with index what should be the index we have already set it in the new start variable because from there we need to start displaying the word right new start plus next position because next position is 0 as of now okay then dot html as item which means that it will be positioned at the new start that is the starting value we have generated here it is new start if there is no space and new start is start itself that is a random number itself in case if there is space so new start plus next position means it is this new start value after this what i am going to do is that next position plus equals next letter so what will happen it will be placed at a gap of 1 or 12 based on the value we have assigned here so if the orientation is row the next letter will be placed at a gap of 1 which means that it will be in the horizontal direction and if it is column which means that it will be displayed at a gap of 12 which means that it will be displayed vertically hope you understand the logic here i am making a small change so that when we set the value for the particular element with index new start when we increment the value the position of the div element will be changed now let us check whether it is working or not let me refresh see we are seeing some words milk is displayed correctly butter is displayed correctly 
bread is displayed correctly rusk is displayed correctly sugar is here actually jam is to be displayed but m has been replaced with g so first jam was displayed in this vertical direction later when sugar was displayed this g overwritten the letter m so we need to make that check later that is if the space is already occupied we have to do something to find a new position right still we are getting some words correctly right milk sugar bread rusk butter and a and s is getting displayed here it is of some other word let me check it is getting displayed actually in column direction so butter actually space in column it should be in the 76 index so 12 24 36 48 60 72 70 two means 71 72 73 74 75 76 so egg got overwritten that is why we are not able to see that then milk is here butter is here jam was here but m got overwritten okay this is of oats so o got overwritten with u a is here t got overwritten with r s is here then sugar here bread here and rusk rusk is also here so we are actually adding the letters one more thing we need to do is that we have to make sure that the space is not already occupied now once the game is over we need to check whether the player has selected the words correctly or not right so what i'm going to do is that here for these letters that is for these div elements i am going to add a new data attribute so let me copy this that is for that particular div element let me specify attr of data word and for all these div elements let me have the data word as my array of i which means that that particular word so if the word is milk for all the div elements that is for m i l k four div elements will be there right for all the letters for each letter one div element so four div elements will be there so for all the four div elements the data word attribute will be having value milk let me show you that save let me refresh here rusk oats sugar bread butter egg one g got replaced with this u and jam j a m a got replaced with breads b letter okay however let me check it within letters let me close this see for r we are seeing the data word as rusk and for o data word as oats then this is of the word rusk so letter is u and the data word is rusk then here again for a it is data word is oats again for s data word is rusk like that so here if we check in a row see all these words are having bread b r e a d for all these five div elements the data word is there with value bread okay so we have actually placed the letters next what we need to make sure we need to make sure that they are not overwritten so here g got overwritten with the value u of sugar like that here a of jam got replaced with b of bread like that it happens so we need to make sure that before placing the values we have to check whether that place is already occupied or not we will do that part in the next lecture